We know that we're going to miss our climate emissions targets in Ireland, which means heavy fines. Transport and industry have to be tackled, but so too does transport. Originally, they wanted 200,000 electric vehicles on the road in Ireland by 2020. They actually have about 3,000. In Norway, with a population not that much bigger, they have 150,000 electric vehicles on the roads. So we're here to meet the Norwegian Electric Vehicle Owners Association, people who drive these cars along here beside me, to find out how they've done it, how they've got so many people behind the wheel of EVs, and if it's something that we could do in Ireland. Why do so many people in Norway drive EVs? I think it's a combination of uh, that they have realised that EVs actually are very good. Uh, and of course that we have a rather big pack of incentives in place. It is a beautiful spring morning and we're here at Tesla's headquarters in Oslo. We're going to take one of these babies for a test drive. Truth be told, I'm very excited about this. There's over 20,000 Teslas on the road in Norway, over 150,000 EVs altogether. Uh, so we're going to find out if there's anything we could be doing in Ireland to encourage more people to change to electric. But I'm not going to lie, I might not come back with this car. What would I get if I bought an EV in Norway? Yeah, uh, you have no sales tax, you have no, uh, you have no um, uh, VAT. Uh, so to buy one, you have no taxes uh, in the first place. You, you pay what the car actually costs. So when you have it, uh, you get uh, exemptions from, uh, from parking, um, highway ferries uh, and toll roads. And so in some places you also may use the, you may use the, the bus lane and uh, you have several other perks as well. So that's what makes it really, uh, really beneficial to, to drive, drive an EV. It's sweet, beautiful, it's so light to the touch, it's smooth, there's no noise. The only noise is the friction between the wheel and the road. There's no noise from the actual car itself. Like, look at this. It doesn't make it, there's not a peep out of it. It's a silent killer. <laughs> I think, I think uh, you need to have cars on the road to actually create this market. So uh, the chicken and egg discussion, uh, what comes first? I think uh, putting up the fast charges first, that might work. Uh, so people see them, but uh, they can't use them. So I think they, you actually need to get used to driving an electric car and then your need will expand. So you will take the car further away from your house and then you will use the fast chargers to get further away from home. In, you have several means to reach a goal like this. And I think, uh, I think it's, it's about trying to, to build a package that seems attractive to, to consumers. We wanted over 200,000 electric vehicles on the road. We have a little over 2,000. In Norway, they have 150,000, the highest ownership rate in the world. They didn't get there by lecturing people about climate change. They got there with financial incentives, money talks. They gave people tax breaks to buy cars and they made it cheaper for them to own electric vehicles. That's how the big shift from petrol and diesel happened. That's how they got them behind the wheels of EVs. If Ireland wants to do the same, they need to invest the same way.